There were some really strange looking creatures in Indonesia 60,000 years ago. Along with them lived an interesting human species. These people, who were about 1 meter or 3 feet tall, were smaller than modern humans in every way. For example, their brains were a third the size of modern humans, but they could still make stone tools. And they tried to colonize the area as much as they could by building things with these tools. The name of this human species, known today as hobbits, is Homo floresiensis. So what made them so small? How were these people able to survive among these giant creatures despite their tiny stature? And what destroyed them? The only human species living on Earth today is Homo sapiens sapiens, or modern humans. However, there were once many different human species. Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo luzonensis are just a few of them. All of these species emerged as a result of the evolution of the first humans who left Africa and migrated to all corners of the world over time, as a result of natural selection and environmental pressures. For example, after the common ancestor of Neanderthals and Denisovans left Africa, some migrated to Europe and some to Asia. Those who migrated to Europe are known today as Neanderthals, and those who migrated to Asia are known as Denisovans. Although these two species come from the same common ancestor and are similar to each other in many ways, there are differences in their DNA. For this reason, they are defined as two different human species. Homo floresiensis also left Africa in this way, but migrated to the Indonesian island of Flores. Skeletal remains belonging to this species were found in caves on the island of Flores. And according to these remains, this species must be at least 100,000 years old. In fact, the stone tools they used or made indicate that this species may be at least 190,000 years old. Homo floresiensis must have come to this island a long time ago and lived here for thousands of years. But how they came to this island is a mystery, because the nearest island is beyond dangerous waters, 9 kilometers or 5.5 miles away. We have no evidence that such people could make boats or ships at that time. Perhaps once Flores Island was not an island at all, but a piece of land connected to the mainland, and due to rising waters or tectonic movements, it turned into an island over time. The only thing we know is that Homo floresiensis look very different from us. The reason why this human species, which is as tall as a hosbola, is called Hobbit, is because they are small, human-like creatures in the fictional world created by Tolkien. While the Hobbits in Tolkien's world are fictional, the ones in our world are real. We know that they existed thanks to the remains found. When these remains found in Liangbua Cave on the island of Flores were first discovered by archaeologists, they were thought to be the skeletal remains of a modern human child. However, the skull found had distinct eyebrow protrusions that are not found in modern humans, and its wisdom teeth were fully developed. This showed that it was an adult. Later studies revealed that these skeletal remains belonged to another human species, not a modern human. This human species' brain was about one-third the size of ours and had an unusual body shape. For example, its hip bones were wide, its collarbone was short, and its shoulder joint was positioned quite far forward. In addition, this human species had very large, flat feet. Evidence found in the caves shows that these hobbits hunted the stegodons and giant rats here. In fact, they may not have only hunted these creatures, because traces of butchery were also seen on the stegodons' bones found. These tiny people survived among the wild animals here with the tools they made, hunted them, and consumed them. In the excavations carried out in the following years, much more interesting findings were found. For example, stone tools were also found among the hobbit remains found in another cave located about 72 kilometers or 45 miles away from the Liangbua cave. The examinations carried out show that some of these findings are approximately 700,000 years old. Although the remains found are too few to be attributed to the hobbit species, most anthropologists think that these remains belong to hobbits or their ancestors. In addition, one million year old stone tools were unearthed in another excavation carried out on the island of Flores. If we assume that all these artifacts or remains were made by hobbits or their ancestors, we can say that the hobbit lineage reached Flores Island one million years ago. This time period shows us that the hobbit lineage roamed the earth and explored the lands here much longer than modern humans. Despite everything, we do not know why Homo floresiensis was so small. There are several hypotheses on the subject. For example, according to one of them, this species has a genetic or metabolic disorder that has caused it to remain so small. Examples of these disorders include microcephaly and Down syndrome. However, most scientists no longer agree with this hypothesis, because there is no evidence of such disorders in the remains of those Homo floresiensis. Some fossils that are 700,000 years old show that these hobbits were a long-lived community rather than a sickly community. A second hypothesis claims that after this species arrived on the island, they began to shrink over time due to the scarcity of resources in the environment. The scarcity of resources for survival may have actually created a selection pressure, causing the taller individuals, who therefore spent more energy, to die out. The smaller individuals, who spent less energy, also survived. Such dwarfism may have occurred in just a few hundred thousand years. 
Another thing that is being debated is where they came from. The human species that existed at that time were not capable of long-distance migration over land and sea. Moreover, even during the Ice Age, the closest neighbor of Flores Island was very far away. Although genetic analyses may theoretically answer this question, no DNA has been extracted from the Hobbit remains so far, because it is very difficult for DNA molecules to survive in warm and humid conditions like Flores Island. Although we cannot give definitive answers to such questions, we do have some evidence on how the Hobbit lineage went extinct. Modern humans may have a connection with the extinction of Homo floresiensis, because the last known trace of this species dates back to about 50,000 years ago, and our oldest remains on Flores Island date back to about 46,000 years ago. Moreover, during the excavations, traces and remains of ancient humans were found in the caves where this Hobbit species lived. We may have caused the Hobbits to go extinct after we reached this island. In fact, we may have caused not only their lineage, but also the lineage of other human species. Evidence suggests that Neanderthals, Denisovans, and other human species began to become extinct as our species spread across the globe. The interesting thing is that we have not only made other human species extinct, but also the giant creatures known as megafauna. You can check out this video on my channel to learn more about megafauna. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Goodbye.